What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grove here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 18,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it, but check out who is behind me. My dad is back in action. He's been down in Florida for like a week or so with his buddy Clint, or my buddy Clint too. Um, they went down there together to pick up the Ranger bass boat because it um, earlier this year me and my dad were down there and it broke down as most of you guys know. So he went back down there and he actually fished for like a week or so and caught some huge bass um, on Okeechobee headwaters so they had a blast down there but he is back in action back up here in the Midwest in the cold weather and I wish we were in Florida in the nice weather down there, but hey, we're out here on the lake trying to get on some big fish today. Um, we got four tip-ups set out, and hopefully we can get on some fish on our tip-ups, but we're also jigging for pan fish, whatever we catch, whether it's bluegill, crappie, perch, sunfish, so it should be pretty fun, but we're getting out here right now. It's around like 10 o'clock, and it's March 8th today, so... Soon we'll be out on the St. Clair going for big smallmouth, hopefully. Hopefully all the ice melts here soon. It's pretty thin today. Um, la oh, I think last time I was out here, it was like 12 inches in a day. It's around like six or seven. So hopefully soon we'll be out on the water, but we're making the most of it here on the ice. So hopefully catch a couple fish today, guys. So guys, right now we're just setting up our tip-ups. Um, like I said, legally here in Michigan, you can have three lines a person, but we're gonna be jigging right now, me and my dad. So we're setting up four tip-ups today. And not everyone sets up their tip-ups the same. Um, today we're using suckers and shiners, um, two suckers and two shiners, trying to figure out what those fish want today. But on this one, I'm rigging up a sucker. And I just hooked him right behind the dorsal fin right there and we're gonna lower him down. And what me and my dad like to do, we like to keep that bait on um, like two foot off the weeds. So, cause just because when those fish are cruising around down there, they typically like to look up when they're eating. So, and I can actually watch my sucker right here, right on this fish finder I can see um, where he's at and I can put him exactly two foot off the weed. So right now I'm just kind of looking at where he's at. He's around like three foot right now. We're fishing and I think it's six foot of water. So I'm gonna probably put him like three, three and a half foot down. Hopefully get on some fish today guys. Really appreciate you guys watching all my videos, but gonna get this set up and finish setting up our other tip-ups and hopefully get on a couple big ones today. Fish on. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah, largemouth bass, guys. I just drilled this hole like two seconds ago. And first drop down is a little largemouth bass right there on that um, frostbite jig. And I'm using a um, power bait mite as a soft plastic. And it's a chartreuse color, but little guy. They get bigger. <laughs> That's for sure. Whoa. Might have to drill a couple more holes right here, guys. Oh, there is a fish. Fish? Whoa! <laughs> is that the same bass I just caught? Look what I just found. My dad just caught a bass. Bass heaven today. Oh, there is one. They're hitting it, guys, that's for sure. Come on. 
Well, we got our first flag of the day, guys. Me and my dad are just getting out here. We just finished up setting up all the tip-ups. And there's a flag. I'm gonna check it out real quick. Hopefully there's a fish on it. There's a fish. Fish on. Feels big, whatever it is. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> holy smokes, that's a tank, Dad. Dang. Check out that bass, guys. Beautiful largemouth bass. And he was barely, barely hooked. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but that hook is barely in the top of his mouth. I'm just gonna barely move it real quick. Bam, out of his mouth. Holy smokes, that is a freaking toad. Dang, what do you think that weighs, Dad? That's a freaking beast. Beautiful fish, guys, first fish of the day. Um, and that is a freaking stud, holy crap. That's a tank. But beautiful largemouth bass, that's crazy. Like I said, we're just getting out here um, to a little private lake that we have access to. And we're just super lucky to be able to fish out here. There's a ton of huge bass, big pike. So really nice fish, guys. Gonna get a quick picture and put him back. All right, guys, releasing that fish back into the water. That is a beautiful largemouth bass. Freaking beast. There he goes, swam off super good. Um, I think we had a sucker on this one. We got a mixture of suckers and shiners today. Um, I think we have two tip-ups with suckers and two tip-ups with shiners. So, gonna get this tip-up set back up. He ran out all the line on this thing. That was crazy, there's a ton of line on this too. But yeah. Gonna get it set back up and hopefully get on a couple more fish. Today. Fish on. Yeah, it's all bass. Yeah. A little bass, guys. That's like all we've been catching today. It's crazy. We're going for pan fish, like bluegills, crappies. I guess whatever hits, but. No. What? Double on bass. Doubled up on bass. That's crazy. I don't know what's going on today. All we can catch is bass. It's a cute little guy. Maybe it will turn into a big one one day. That's all we've like caught today is little bass. Well guys, we are heading to the next flag. It just went up and I seen it spinning on the way over here. We're just approaching it right now. So I'm gonna grab it. It's only like four foot of water here. This fish on. And it feels huge, whatever it is. Oh! Big bass. What the heck? Another tank of a largemouth bass, guys. He choked it, too. On that that big shiner. What? Yeah, not the huge one, but a pretty decent-sized shiner. But that's crazy, guys. Our second bass of the day on another a tip-up. Yeah, another four pounder. Yeah, another four-pounder. 
check out that fish guys it's a beautiful largemouth bass an absolute tank probably a four pounder but beautiful fish definitely a solid um largemouth bass it's a tank it's a heavy one too dang but he drilled that shiner that we have put on there but gonna get a quick picture and release him back all right guys just got the hook out of that bass but just another quick look at it um beautiful fish and he hit this shiner right here that we have on um if you guys can see that right there but we just got it at the local bait so we got a bunch of shiners and suckers out today but absolutely beautiful largemouth bass there's big bass in here guys so i'm gonna put him back guys putting the bass back in the water letting him grow bigger There he goes. Sweet. Beautiful fish, guys. Well, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video out here on the lake. Me and my dad had a blast fishing out here today. We caught those two really nice largemouth bass on the tip-ups, and my dad lost a couple decent-sized ones. That last one he just had on, he said it felt like a giant, so that sucks, but... You can't always catch all of them, guys, um, but we might be back out here tomorrow. Hopefully, get on some more fish before the ice all melts, but really appreciate you guys watching today's video, and we will see you in the next one. Stay tuned.